Applied Eco Knowledge. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 499. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our October 16th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update. Weekly progress update number 499. Woo, doggy! That is a lot of weekly progress updates. We have accomplished a lot in the last decade. And um, so, yeah, so our today's topic is uh, open sourcing applied eco knowledge. And this is what our project is all about. Everything you see happening in the background of this video are the foundations of that. They're the major components of open sourcing applied eco knowledge. And when we talk about open sourcing applied eco knowledge, we mean open sourcing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do it yourself instructions for applied eco knowledge applied to all of the foundations of a sustainable civilization. And we've broken those foundations down into two categories the physical foundations of sustainability and the emotional foundations of sustainability. And the physical foundations of sustainability are food, energy, and housing. And the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified and are focusing on are fulfilled living practices, what we call highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and truer stewardship. And so we're putting all of these things together as an evolution of sustainability as a a applied eco knowledge example of sustainability applied to all aspects of living to make them easy enough, affordable enough, and to demonstrate this model as attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own. So this is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. We're open sourcing everything necessary for a sustainable civilization and we're making it easy enough, affordable enough, and going to demonstrate it's attractive enough so the idea will spread its own and create a global cooperative, a global collaborative of teacher demonstration, sustainable teacher demonstration hubs modeled after one community, but are pro probably radically different in many different ways, working together for the highest good of all people in life on this planet so that we can achieve a planet that works for everybody within our lifetime. And we're creating it all open source and free shared so that it can be implemented as either the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub, or so that it can be implemented as individual components so that we can provide something for everybody. That's what we're doing. Like we want to be able to provide something for everybody because we're creating it with the consciousness and the mindset of how can we do this for the highest good of all people in life on our planet. We feel that implementation of any one of these little components is a step in the right direction. We want to create something for everybody. Everything we're creating is designed to move us towards a world that works for everybody. So people with totally different values, different cultures, different ideas, if they can build off of what it is that we create, we think that it's a step in the right direction. In the most radical sense, if they're building, you know, the open source housing that we're developing, you know, then you're building a home that's not built with toxic materials, that's going to last longer, it's good for the environment, it's good for the people that are living there, it's better than traditional stick homes that most people are building. And so, like, that's a big step in the right direction. Or if you're growing, you know, food that's grown without herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides, now you're taking those things out of the environment, you're not supporting those industries, and you're growing food that's healthier for you, as an example, then... That's a big step in the right direction. Or maybe you're participating in our open source education model and, you know, teaching a deeper level of education, a better way of learning that's more kid centric and more parent involved for the parents that want to do like a homeschooling education program, something like that. We feel that that's a step in the right direction, creating more free thinkers, creative 
people, you know, that look at the world as a, from a perspective of like, well, how can I do what's best for everybody instead of, well, I'm trying to do better than everybody around me. Like, how can I get mine? You know, so it's this whole idea, this culture of cooperation, collaboration that one community is creating as well, at least within our environment. And we want to invite people to come and participate in that. And that's a big foundation of why we are open sourcing everything that we're do, doing. And this idea of applied eco knowledge, the eco aspect of it is like we're thinking of our, our entire environment as its own symbiotic environment and, and seeing how all these physical foundations, all these emotional foundations can be seamlessly integrated to support and prop each other up even more to create an even more enriching growth focused world changing environment that anybody that wants to can participate in or create for themselves so this is what one community is all about this is what we're creating this open sourcing of applied eco knowledge you know we want to teach people how to grow food forests we, you know we want to teach people how to build sustainable homes you know we want to teach people how to live more fulfilled lives and how they can create environments where there are a hundred different things to do that you can all walk to with that and none of it costs anything that's an environment a community environment that creates and supports these kinds of things so that they're always available for you to access you know we want to create education models and show people what's possible with our open source education models that are built and designed around the most revolutionary transformative and progressive education models in the world Regio, Montessori, Worf, uh, I'd say Worf, Waldorf, Orf, Worf, <laughs> Star Trek reference, <laughs> Waldorf, Orf, uh, the eight intelligences, which is now nine intelligences. You know, these education models, we looked at all of them, even study tech, we looked at all of these education models and said, what's the best of the best and how can we take this and create an education model that takes the best of all of these and then build off of that just as a foundation, as a starting point. So as an example, then truer stewardship, like how can we reduce, reuse everything within our environment? How can we avoid putting things into landfills? You know, how can we truly steward? How can we grow our food in such a way that it creates our existing ecosystem, that it supports our existing ecosystem and creates its own ecosystems that are beneficial to the natural environment as well as well as more beneficial to us than traditionally grown food i mean it's all related so yeah this is what one community is doing this is our idea for creating a better world for everybody you know and if you look at a model like this if we achieve our goal of making easy enough affordable enough and demonstrating attractive enough so that it will spread on its own then uh you know we could create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime like a model of 50 people that inspires two more communities of 50 people to start the next year, that inspires four the year after that, and then eight, and 16, and 32. You know, you run that out for 30 years, and you have inc you've, you've included every single person on this planet. And we don't need to do that. We just need to reach that critical mass, that tipping point of participation, so that everybody who wants to has a place to go, and so that everything, everything that's necessary to replicate what it is that we're creating is available to anybody that wants it at every economic level for every possible environment. So anybody that doesn't have a place to go can, can create it for themselves. And so that's that critical mass, that tipping point of achieving global sustainability of enough people participating so that we finally have a planet that is moving in the right direction instead of the wrong direction. And once we achieve that, then it's just all making it better and better and better. You know, so this is what one community is doing. This is how we're creating uh, global sustainability. This is what we're up to. And we're an all-volunteer organization doing this. We're a nonprofit organization. We are a non-governmental organization creating this because we want to live this way and creating this because we see the reality, the possibility of a fully sustainable world within our lifetime. And we can, we can think of no better venture to participate in. Like what, what a wonderful goal. What a wonderful thing to aspire to and to create. And, and we know what's possible. And so this is what we're creating. So anyway, thanks for watching the end. If you'd like a weekly dose of positivity in your YouTube feed, uh, subscribe to our channel and click that bell. Uh, if you like a weekly dose of positivity in your inbox, subscribe to our weekly progress update blog or visit our weekly progress update blog if you just want to see what our all-volunteer team has accomplished within the last week. If you would like uh, to help out, um, visit our helping page. 
visitor helping page and there's lots of different ways for anybody to help out there ranging from you know um, donating to just sharing our content to becoming a volunteer to becoming a pioneer the people who move onto the property and build all this uh, there's lots of different ways to participate if you'd like to just see everything that we're creating visit our website and of course uh, stick around for a couple more minutes if you'd like to watch like bullet points see bullet points and all the major components of our project so with that said thanks for watching as long as you have and until next week we will of course keep on Keep it on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.